Hello everybody, this is Dr. Bob and Debbie D. Maria coming to you talking about depression. Uh, it's going to be an exciting few minutes that we have together right there. It Debbie? sure is and we don't get to spend too much time together anymore doing this, do we Dr. Bob? So here we go. We're going to start. We're going to talk about depression because people are depressed. Well, basically it is the holiday or Christmas season and people think about it as being fun exciting, going to parties, enjoyment. But there is another side of this. There are some people out there that, as a national um, newspaper today talked about loneliness, isolation, loss, even the holiday blues. A lot of people do call this depression. But tonight, we're coming to you with some good news. Because really good we news. have some things that you can do to help yourself into a better state naturally. Dr. Bob. You know, it's kind of interesting because we have many people that come into the office that have challenges. So I want you to know that depression itself is obviously very helpable. You know, it just depends on the physiology in your body. So somebody said, what exactly is depression? They have a low mood or a depressed mood. I like to say they're almost not happy, and I'm gonna just basically read you some very specific body signals of someone who's depressed. They have a depressed mood, they have a lack of interest in enjoyable activities. Mm. You know, you ask them to do something, say, no, I don't really wanna do that right now. They have a decreased appetite, mm. that's very interesting. Insomnia, having challenges falling asleep, and one of the things I've noticed with insomnia, and I've done more and more research on it, Stress has a lot to do with insomnia because it cannibalizes melatonin, which has everything to do with sleeping. Slowing of movement, lack of energy, which I'll briefly talk to you about in one moment, feeling of guilt or worthlessness, trouble concentrating, and finally, suicidal thoughts and behaviors. And that's what's really is serious because we have patients come in today, their biggest concerns are their children. They don't want them to commit suicide. I'm gonna to talk to you about energy for a moment. You know, I've written several books and one of them is Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. And we talk about the thyroid in that particular book. Mm -hmm. Typically, if somebody has an issue with depression, oftentimes, Deb, they can have a low thyroid gland, low thyroid or hypothyroid function. So Dr. Bob, how can we help these people without drugs, naturally, what can we do? Well, first we wanna see exactly what they're eating. We might wanna do some assessments to them to find out, for example, how their thyroid gland is doing. But you know, Deb, so we know that the brain, we have wonderful examples of the brain here. We have a phosphorus brain, brain uh, a model that shows you how the brain impacts all the function of the entire human being. But this is a dipstick, and this dipstick is used to insert into the motor of a car to check the oil. Well, we have the ability in our practice to literally put a dipstick inside of your body figuratively via either a venipuncture or a stick to your finger to evaluate the oil that's inside of your brain. And the significance of this is so, so, so important because we can literally see how much omega-3 fats that you have. There's an omega-3 fat and I talk about this in Dr. Bob's Guide to Stop ADHD in 18 Days, called DHA. It's a long chain fatty acid. And what I love about um, certain times during the year, these are walnuts. And walnuts themselves are a great source of omega-3 fat stem. If I was someone right now, the nut of choice, walnut. Hmm. Well, one of the things I was just going to say is what can people do today? What is some helpful tips? You know, when we were working on any of our books, most people just will almost like stop you and say, just tell me what to do. So Dr. Bob, let's tell them what they can do. Well, I'll tell you the number one thing that all of you could do right now is you really want to start looking at your source of omega-3 fats. We happen to use a sardine and anchovy based oil in our practice, I would really watch the type of omega-3 oils that you're doing. Not all marine oils are the same. I probably look into some kind of plant-based uh, oil like black currant seed oil 
or flax oil, which are precursors to that long chain fat called DHA. But I'm going to go back to this dipstick. This dipstick is so, so important, Deb. And their thyroid gland is also really important because L-tyrosine, which is an amino acid, which is a protein, L-tyrosine and iodine make thyroid hormone. But L-tyrosine, Debbie, is a natural antidepressant. That's big news. You know what, Dr. Bob? I have to stop you almost, though, because you're talking about oils. And you know, there's the no-fat, low-fat, and fat-fat. What are you trying to say? Well, there's two fats we want to talk about right now. The omega-3 and the omega-6 fats. Those are essential fatty acids. You have to eat them. I would avoid soy oil. I would avoid canola oil. Those oils are usually synthetic. They're man-made, and they're going to trick your body. Now, going back to what we've been talking about with the essential fatty acid testing. Sunflower oil and safflower oil are omega-6 fats and they can cause inflammation inside of your body. Even dairy products over time can overpower the omega-3 fats, create inflammation, and I've even seen it cause ADHD. You say, well, Dr. Bob, we're talking about depression. What we have been so fortunate to learn about is it's all a part of the same family. It's all about proper fat metabolism. Your brain needs fat. If you want to prevent dementia, Alzheimer's, you want to make sure you have enough of the right oil. So right now, I would look to make sure that you get some kind of quality oil into your system, contact our office, and just make it happen. Okay, we have a couple more things that we definitely want to talk about, but I do have to say, during this time, we also consume a lot of sugar. I mean, the natural person, how many pounds of sugar do they normally consume? Well, they day? used to say it's about 150, but all you have to do is go to the major box stores today, and they have aisle after aisle after aisle of sugar. Oh, well, somebody's eating a good portion of mine, Dr. Bob. Well, so, I, I know that. Would you just say, kind of cut back, hold on? I would off? totally eliminate sugar if you can, and it is so hard for people. Honey happens to be a source of sugar also. So you want to cut back on the sugar. We use a product in our practice which is a chromium base that helps take away the craving for sugar. You want to eliminate sugar altogether, Deb, because what happens if you eat a little bit of it, you keep on wanting more and more and more. I know you said before that magnesium helps with the craving of sugar. So you chromium. Get that. It's chromium. It's chromium. Chromium But helps. also greens, correct? Well, greens will definitely help, but chromium is so important because okay. it stops your body craving for sugar and minerals are important also. So I think we have really hit anything else you want to talk about? Well, yes, on? I do. Of course I do. There's always something to talk about. What do we have in store for Dr. Bob in the coming year in 2019? What is the drugless doctor going to do? I can tell you one of the things we're going to do is we're going to work on a mental health book that's going to make a difference for everybody around the world. Stay tuned. We have a lot more coming in 2019. Yes, and remember January, our thyroid month. Bye.